this video, I will show you how to dismantle and assemble a fuel cell. Firstly, to dismantle and assemble a fuel cell, you need a, an Allen key and a spanner. Okay, let's start with dismantling the fuel cell. Okay, to loosen the nuts, you have to turn the nuts counterclockwise. Okay, now you can take off the acrylic, the acrylic piece. Okay. Then this component is the silicon gasket. Okay. This one is the acrylic piece. Okay. Then uh, you have to remember that uh, this acrylic piece is for the oxygen. Okay. This one is always in contact with the red color banana plug okay the red color banana plug this one the red color banana plug is always with this oxygen acrylic side okay okay after you take off this red color banana plug this one comes together with the metal metal plate okay this one is the metal plate okay and then underneath this metal plate you will see these layers okay these layers now these layers right consist of mea and gas diffusion layers okay so you have gas diffusion layers on both sides okay let's peel off the gas diffusion layers on one side now uh, the gas diffusion layer right the smooth side must be in contact with the MEA okay while the this side that looks like a filter must be facing outwards okay so this side the smooth side is in contact with the MEA it's like this okay okay now let's peel off the other MEA okay here we have another MEA uh, sorry here we have another gas diffusion layer. Now let's change the MEA. The MEA that you have now, the MEA that was inside the fuel cell is 0 0.3 milligram per centimeter square. Okay, now we want to change this MEA with a new MEA. Okay, so we'll change this one with the 0 0.1 milligram per centimeter square uh, platinum. Okay, so this one is the 0 0.1. 0 0.1 milligram per centimeter square of platinum okay okay and then this metal plate the metal plate that is connected to the black color banana plug is facing the hydrogen side okay so black color hydrogen side 
Now when you put the metal plate, right, you have to make sure that the metal plate is aligned with the silicon gasket. There's this flat side, okay, this part, the flat side. This flat side must be secure on this metal plate over here. This part of the metal plate, okay. The flat side must be secure on this part of the metal plate, okay. Okay, then you can put this on the acrylic. Okay. Put this on the acrylic. Make sure that they are aligned. Okay, make sure that they are aligned. And then you put the gas diffusion layer first. Okay, one of the gas diffusion layer. You put it on top of the metal plate. Okay, then after that, you put the MEA. Okay, put the MEA. Okay, make sure that they are all aligned. And then you put the last gas diffusion layer. Okay, then after that, you put the metal plate that is connected to the red color banana plug. Make sure that they are aligned. Okay, and then you secure this silicon gasket. Remember, the flat side, the flat side of the silicon gasket must be over here. Must be over here. Okay, you put it over there. Okay, done. Now you can secure two screws first. Okay, let's put it like this. Then this one also. Okay, just nice. Then you put in the acrylic. Then you put in the washer. Then put in the nuts. Okay, at this stage you just need to tighten the the nuts and bolts using your hand. Okay, using your fingers. in the washer Tighten all the screws. Okay. Okay. To tighten, you turn clockwise. Now you tighten the screws bit by bit. Okay. So let's say for one screw, you just turn one one full circle. You just turn one full circle and then you go to another screw and then turn one or two more circles okay. then one or 
two more circles again one or two more circles again Now we have to make sure that the gap, okay, the gap between the two acrylic pieces must be 7 mm, okay. You can check this by using your ruler, but if you don't bring your ruler with you, right, how do we know that it's already uh, roughly 7 mm? Is by looking at the metal plate. If you cannot see the metal plate anymore, because the metal plates are already fully covered by the silicone gasket, just like in this video okay that means the distance between the two acrylic pieces is already around 7 mm okay why is it must be 7 mm because if it is more than 7 mm let's say 8 mm there will be some leakage so the gas will come out or if it is uh, more than 7 mm let's say 6 mm we might break the MEA. So that's why we have to make sure that the gap here, okay, this gap, are all seven millimeter. Okay. So this is how you dismantle and assemble a fuel cell. Thank you.